Jorge Hernandez with the low blow in Southwest Fight News here with Ray Ford fighting out of Fit NHB. Big fight, Legacy 30, April 4th here in your hometown of Albuquerque, man. How's it feel? Oh, man, words cannot explain how it feels, man. I've been blessed with such a great opportunity to fight someone like Nick Erso and uh, on a good stage, man, and it's nothing better than in my backyard, so it's, it's really great, man. Talk about the training for this camp. This is, it seems like every time you and I talk, it's the most difficult fight of your career. Yeah, you know, that that's what I want. I mean, I want to be able to, I'm, I'm trying to climb the ladder. I'm not trying to stay in the same spot. So every fight is, you know, is going to be a, a bigger fight for me. And the training camp has, has, hasn't gone any better. I mean, I've been training my ass off. I mean, I've been working really, really, really hard, you know, in and out of the gym. You know, with my dieting and my training, so it's going really good. Yeah. Now, as far as your opponent, I know Urso, you've heard a lot of, especially here in town. You guys, your two gyms are the, I guess, the elite here in the entire state of New Mexico. Talk about the bragging rights also that are involved with this fight. Yeah, you know, to me, this is just another fight. I mean, there's a lot on the line, but, in, you know, in the end, there, there's going to be some bragging rights, not only for our gym, but for ourselves, you know, me and Nick Urso are considered the top prospects of, you know, in the flyweight division here out of New Mexico. So, you know, it's bragging rights for not only us, but for the gym. But to me, this is just another fight, you know, not too much into it. The card is going to be nationally televised on Legacy. How, you know, what are you, what are your thoughts on being broadcasted? You know, the last few fights you've had, those have been regional fights. And now, you know, your friends and family get to see you on national TV. It's the coolest thing ever, really. Not not for me as much as, you know, it's cool to have all that national exposure, but it's cool also for my family. I've had family wanting to watch me fight for a long time and never could make the trip. You know, now they have the opportunity to watch me throw down on live TV. What would a victory here do for you? I mean, you're only 20 years old, and this fight, you know, it's bound to put you in the national spotlight. Yeah, I mean, I, you know... I'm thinking that it's going to do a lot for me going in there and taking on someone like Nick who's, you know, talked about all over the place about, you know, being a blue chip prospect for the UFC. So putting him away will definitely do a lot for me, you know, not only as for, uh, you know, for rankings and national rankings and stuff like that, but for me as a person, it'll tell me a lot of where I'm coming and how far I'm coming along in the sport. You talk about the rankings here. If, if you were to win, I mean, it puts you in a very good spot. You came off of a huge upset of, uh, well, many people don't feel it's an upset because they know what you bring to the table against Angelo Sanchez. And then uh, the Sugar Creek uh, showdown as well. You came off uh, a victory off of a prospect and won your first promotional title. So do you think that's why you're kind of easy and relaxed at this point before yeah. this big fight? Yeah, you know, because I know what I'm about and, you know, people who really know what I'm about realize this the kind of fight like people around and who know me and Nick know this is gonna be a good fight and it's not gonna be I mean some people who think I'm just gonna go in there and get wrecked obviously don't know much about me so um yeah to me I know where I'm at in the sport and I know my skills and technicality so I know you know that I'm calm about this I mean no offense to Nick Urso but he you know he isn't the toughest fight I've had you know I've had to fight I mean the guy who I fought last week took me by storm man that guy was just unbelievably talented and fighting Angelo who you know is a veteran around here and you know like a local legend that was a big deal for me too so you know it really helps out fighting guys like that in situations like this I'm just real calm about the whole fight what can people expect out of you at Legacy 30? For people that have never seen you fight, what can they expect to see? Uh, people who have never seen me fight can see some actual striking skills. I mean, I mean, I haven't showed them too much. People, the last fight people saw me fight really locally here was as a professional was Angelo. I mean, and uh, I mean, the game plan was to go in there and dominate them at what I do best. You know, there's no point in trying to strike with someone who's as durable as Angelo. So. People are gonna really see some some legit striking skills. I've been my striking's been coming along just like leaps and bounds since I first started here at Fit. What do you owe to your success so far? Again, we mentioned that you're just 20 years old, but you went undefeated in your amateur career, and now you're undefeated as a pro as well. What do you think you owe that to your work ethic the most? Um, I owe it to my work ethic. I'm I'm in here and you know day and night, you know get 
getting my skills better, whether or not I have a fight. If I do have a fight or if I don't have a fight, I'm in here working on my skills. And I owe it to my team, man. My team has been behind me 100%. You know, people who aren't here anymore and people who are here anymore, you know, they've been, without them, I haven't been able to do the things that I've done and the amazing coaching staff that I have. What do you want, what do you want to do with your career within the next two years? Where do you see yourself or what do you hope to be? You know, I hope to be on that big stage within the next two years. I mean, I'm working hard. I'm proving myself every fight. I mean, I've, I've, I've shown to, I've gone to show that I'm not scared to take on any fight. I mean, I'll fight whoever they want me to fight. If my coaches know I'm ready and if I feel I'm ready, then I'll take that fight. So I really want to see myself on the big stage, but you know, I'm just enjoying this ride. I mean, getting a, not a lot of people get to say they do what they love for a living. So, you know, I'm just going to enjoy this ride and make it to that big stage. For this fight, what do you feel you have to do to gain, you know, the respect of of course, a local media you already have, but nationally, what do you what do you have to do in this fight to to I guess showcase yourself? I gotta go in there and do what I do best, which is dominate the fight. I mean, I'm not gonna let Nick or so, you know, come, try and bully me as you know most people say he does in fights and you know wherever he does it. But he's not gonna bully me, and I'm gonna show that I'm gonna be the bull. I'm gonna be the smallest bully he's ever fought, and so I need to go in there and I need to make a statement and you know punish him. Now, where can people reach you online? Uh, people can reach me online on Instagram, at TazMexican18, like my Facebook page, and I finally got a Twitter. I'm a horrible Twitter person. My tweet game is horrible, but you can catch me at, at TazMexican18.